Hey guys, welcome to another session. Today we're going to talk about approving, and that is the whole process from contacting all the way to approving an EP. So first we're going to start with the timeline, and there's things you need to do before, during, and after the interview. So before the interview, you need to create a buyer's persona, which is like an ideal person for the opportunity that you have. So you need to look at the things in their CV from the people who signed up and see whether it has the things that you were looking for. Does it match the ideal person that you have in mind for the opportunity? And the deadline for contacting someone when uh, you have a sign up is 24 hours. And that's when you need to send the first initial message. And you need to tell them about the next steps. So first is gonna be like um, the, I need to send a video with the Q&A so they answer our questions. And then later after that, you have an interview. So the interview can be done like with uh, Isaacer, someone like us, so we can interview them, or it could be with the company, if the company really wants to do that and if they ask for the opportunity to actually interview the person, then they can do that as well. Also, when you have a new opportunity, when you have it open, it's really important to send it to all your IR partners in the group. So you can contact them through WhatsApp or Telegram. That's the most usual uh, platform. So it's really important to do that because then you ensure more signups and more people will come and want to be a part of the opportunity. So you also need to check daily for applicants and contact them in that 24 hour uh, time that we said before. And there is also a global contact list if you need to um, if you need to contact some people. So if you need someone's number, you can always check that uh, list. You just ask uh, and you'll get the list. So now it's time for the interview. And this is the most important step because you get to really see what the person is like in real life, not just on paper. So when you're talking to them, you have a few things that you need to keep in mind. So you need to ask yourself, does that person speak English fluently? Will they be able to, you know, talk with people in uh, when they come here? So for the internship. Uh, do they fit in with the company's culture that they applied for? Do they respect and accept other religions and nationalities because they will meet different kind of people? So they need to be respectful. And do they have good answers for the technical questions? So do they have the knowledge and the skills that are needed? And after the interview, uh, first, you need to see so whether this person checks all the criteria. If yes, then you send them an output. Um, you send an output to the company, and if they don't, then you send the rejection mail to the applicant. And it's really important to know that once we accept the person, the EP, first we accept as host, then the home OGX, so the home entity, they need to approve them, and that happens when they sign up and when they pay for the opportunity. So when they pay the contract, uh, uh, when they sign the contract and pay. So after that, we can, as host, we can approve them. So that's when they actually become completely approved. So for the end, there are some tips. So first is to practice before the interview, just so you can actually be more comfortable when you're speaking, especially in English if it's not your first language, uh, so you can control the conversation more easily. And you need to listen carefully, but have an open mind, and just take notes while you're talking with the person, and if you're not sure whether that person is a good fit, fit or not, then you can always talk with your team. So that's it, and happy approving!